Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my recent favorite products, clothing items, beauty, and even a little bit of food. So let's jump in. Before we get started, I wanted to quickly apologize. I haven't been on my uploading game. I was being really great about uploading three times a week, and then we started a lot of traveling, and it has totally thrown me off. But I believe that we are home at least for the rest of the year. So I should be able to get back on track with a good uploading schedule. So I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you all have been enjoying some of the more fashion and style related shorts I've been uploading. Be sure to follow me on other platforms so you can stay up to date when I'm not over here on YouTube. Let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to start with clothing because I'm really excited about the pieces that I have been loving lately. Most of them I'm able to link for you guys. I will, I think there's only one thing I can't link and I will specify. I'm going to start off with a very bold out of the box piece. And that is these orange parachute pants, very oversized and flowy, but I think that they are so cute. They're so easy to style like street style, just with a pair of sneakers and a t-shirt or a hoodie. And I've just been loving them. I really want to go back and pick up a few more colors. Like I said, they're just from Amazon and I think they have five or six different colors and they are available in size small to, I want to say two XL. It's for sure extra large, but um, they might have 2XL. Up next is a, another Amazon find that I have been loving and this is a black and white half zip, yeah, half zip sweater, like pullover. Basically, I love the high neck. I wear it usually unzipped like this with either like a tank top or a little bra top on underneath. Stripe sweaters are everywhere for fall so I really wanted to snag an affordable yet still good quality one and I got really lucky with this Amazon find. They have it available in a few other colors. I think they have one that is the white on top with black stripes um, as well as just some plain colors if you don't want to go the horizontal stripe route. The next clothing piece that I have been loving and getting plenty of wear out of is actually just a basic gray hoodie. This is a total Aritzia dupe. It is very inexpensive, but it is an amazing quality hoodie. I've washed it a few times and it just keeps getting better and better. It's an oversized fit, so make sure to keep that in mind. I ordered a size small. The next thing is one of the things that I can't link a, um, I don't have a direct link for, but I'm sure I'll be able to find very similar options for you all. If not, you'll be able to find them at places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. And that is just a faux leather moto jacket. These have been so fun for me to style recently. I originally wanted a very oversized one, but I ran into this one at TJ Maxx when I was with my mom. It's a size medium, so it's just a little bit oversized. I think it was about $35, so there are going to be plenty of inexpensive and expensive options out there for you guys. The last clothing item, I have some shoes, but the last clothing item is another Amazon piece, and this is actually a bodysuit, seamless jumpsuit, whatever you want, athletic jumpsuit. There's so many different names out for these right now. Um, cat suits, I've even seen them called. This is just a solid black jumpsuit. It's leggings, it has a built-in bra. It is so comfortable. It kind of like snatches you in at the waist. It's a little bit cinched right here. And I have worn this probably five or six times and I only got it last week. I love this thing. I've worn it to layer up for going out in the cold. I've worn it by itself. There's just so many different ways that you can style it and um, I think it's $35. It's super inexpensive. Up next is shoes. I wanted to share with you guys the three top shoes that I have been pulling for recently. I'm going to start off with my chunky loafers. This is another item that I don't have a direct link to but I will be able to find plenty of dupes for you all. They're even at places like Target. I've seen them at Walmart even. Chunky loafers are everywhere right now and I love them. They are so comfortable and easy to style. They dress up a look. Very chic and timeless. I got mine at Burke's Outlet. They were super inexpensive. Um, they just have the silver hardware on the top and I just find myself wearing these all the time because they're so easy to walk in. Um, but they are a more, they're a dressier option than a sneaker which is my usual go-to. Up next is a pair of Uggs and I actually got these last year for Christmas. I think that um, this year I'm going more of like what is comfortable route, what's keeping me warm in the fall and winter and 
These are definitely keeping me warm. These are the Ugg Funket boot. I did spray them with the like boot <clears throat> protectant or whatever when I first got them. So I think that is what has kept them in such good condition. I would make sure to snag some of that. Um, if you end up getting a boot like this this fall or winter, I will also have some of that linked for you guys on my Amazon storefront. Love these and I get so many questions about them because there's so many different Ugg styles out right now. But these are the Funket. Um, from what I've seen, they're kind of hard to get, but I was able to find one on Amazon that has a few select sizes left. So hopefully it is your size and you'll be able to snag them as well. The last shoe and my most exciting fi Amazon find are the Adidas Sambas. I searched everywhere for Adidas Sambas and for a, a, a blip of time, I gave up because I was convinced that they did not make my size because I found out that they only make men's adidas sambas they make the samba rose for women but they don't make the sambas um and they don't have a men's size that goes down that is small enough to fit my foot i'm like a six and a half or a seven um until i realized i could just buy kids so these are big kids size five and a half and they fit perfect all right i have two items that are they're actually they're drink related they're not food related and they kind of go together um the first one is the jade leaf matcha latte this is sweetened with monk fruit we pick it up at walmart but i really like at home matchas they are just so fun for me to make nice little treat in the middle of the day um this one is not i don't believe it's ceremonial grade which i know is what you're supposed to look for it blends really easily um i don't like a matcha that is kind of chunky so um they had another one this one's sugar-free they had another one so make sure to pay attention if you're wanting sugar-free to grab this one that is sweetened with mock fruit and then i also add the sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon syrup from i believe it's tarani I have no clue how to say it. This stuff tastes so good. Literally will make any drink. Okay, that's not true. Will make any drink delicious, but it will make any kind of like coffee or matcha drink even more delicious. I love this. And we've already gone through this is our second bottle and it's um it's to the halfway mark. We ordered them on Amazon as well. I haven't linked these yet, but I will have it linked before this video comes out. On to the beauty portion of my recent favorites. I'm going to start with hair because I've actually been getting a lot of questions hair related, probably because my most recent videos, I was doing a lot of the slick back bun or like slick back half up, half down, which has been a go-to style for me recently. And I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite products for creating that look. This is the Kenra Platinum Silkening Heat Cream. It says Brilliant Shine Thermal Styler. Oh, she's dropping something off. Okay. Hello, sorry about that, my mom stopped by. I have been loving this product. It smells like, it smells like a candy or something. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it smells so very good and it feels very nice on my hair. Next is probably my most favorite recent discovery. I, if you're, if you're only gonna get one thing from this entire video, this is what you need. This is the Color Wow Extra Mystical Shine Spray. It's the best smelling thing I have ever smelt. I will put this on my hair and people will ask me what perfume I'm wearing and it's literally just this. It smells so good, makes my hair so shiny and I have a really good transformation video I filmed. I will insert it here because I wanted to show how amazing this stuff is. If you need something to kind of like defrizz, just like for a sleek, shiny, straight haired look, I've even used it on curls before. This is the only product you need. It is so good. You have to have it. The smell alone, even if it didn't do anything, I would recommend it just for the smell alone. Up next is kind of a little, a two for one, a two for. This is my perfect combo for a slick back bun. This is the Goody Boar Bristles Brush. Got it at Walmart. I'm sure I'll be able to find one for you guys on Amazon. Um, if not, just run to your local Walmart. They probably have it at CVS, Walgreens. I think it was like six or seven dollars. And this brush does all the hard work for you. Gives the most perfect slick bun look. And I love it. To go along with that, I've been using the, I don't know how to say, S-N-T-E hair wax stick. It's just a little literal stick of wax and you push it up like that little push pop candy um, and you just brush it on your hair. Sometimes I'll put on a little in before and then brush my hair up and then kind of go in and tame the flyaways with it. And um, it's amazing. Seriously, it is so good. And my favorite thing about it is that it leaves my hair soft. 
So when I get home and I'm taking down my hair, it's not like all gunked up with product. I can just brush this right out and my hair feels soft and shiny. I do have a couple skincare related products. Um, I'm going to start with I'm gonna kind of go in order of how I use them. So the first one is the Versed Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator. I've used a lot of exfoliators because I have worked for several makeup brands um, when I worked in makeup and I am kind of like a skincare junkie. So I've used a lot of exfoliators and a lot of exfoliators, they feel like they work or you will kind of get that buildup um, like that rolls off your skin and it looks like it works, but long term I didn't really see that many that much of a difference. Um, and with this Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator, I I seriously think it made a huge difference in my skin, the texture, the radiance. You use it twice a week. It is feels a little bit harsher than most. It's a very fine um, exfoliant. And I even recommended my husband using it. I just think it made a huge difference with like dullness in my skin and kind of bringing back a little radiance. Up next is my most recent favorite moisturizer. This is the I Do Care Comfy Mood. It is a ceramide moisturizer for sensitive skin. And I love this stuff. It's just, it's like the perfect moisturizer without all the fuss. You know, there's so many out there that have fragrance or they claim to do all these crazy things and you're like I just want something to hydrate my skin and keep it hydrated throughout the day and that is what this does for me just feels really nice on it sits nice under my makeup and it's definitely going to be something I will be repurchasing in the future after I apply my I do care moisturizer I always go in with a sunscreen and my most recent favorite has been the super goop glow screen this is SPF 40 I do have the let's see I don't know what shade this is they have two shades they used to just have one, but they recently released a second shade that's a little bit darker. I have the original shade, whatever that one is. Um, and I love this stuff. I wear it by itself. I wear it under makeup every single day. Gives you just a nice little glow. And I think because it has a little glow, it reminds me to actually wear SPF. They have a few different ones if you don't want something with a shimmer, if you don't want something with a tint or anything. But this has been my personal favorite. And my last skincare related item, I've talked about this a lot. This is my second tube of this. This is the Tula Skincare Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. It has a natural cooling effect to it, but you can keep it in the fridge if you want a little extra deep puffing. It has a little color to it, so it kind of, um, I don't want to say it corrects, but it just kind of brightens the under eye. And if you don't want something with shimmer, they have a regular version as well that comes in a blue tube. Second to last category is fragrance. I have one favorite right now in fragrance, and I have talked about this product a lot as well. This is the Riddle Original. Well, it's Riddle Oil in the scent original. They have a few different scents. This is a pricier fragrance. I did get this for my birthday and um, I understand why it's pricier. It's because it lasts so long. Um, I put it on my wrists around like my neck kind of like uh, behind my ears. Sometimes I'll put it on my neck collarbone and it smells so good. This is my all-time favorite scent I have ever had. I've had a lot of different perfumes and I've been using this since my birthday in June and I'm still not over it. I just think it's, I just think it's so like feminine, but it's not too strong. It's just a nice, clean, fresh scent and it stays on forever. Love this stuff. The last category of my recent favorites is makeup. I've kind of fallen back in love with makeup. I forgot how big of a difference good makeup can make. Don't get me wrong, I still use a mix of drugstore as well, but these are my recent favorites. And I've been using them since June. I've repurchased one of them, but all of them will be getting repurchased because they're so good. First, I'm gonna start with the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. My best friend, Sydney, told me about this foundation and I have been obsessed with it. This is something that I actually have repurchased. I use the color 24N. This is a very inexpensive foundation for a luxury brand. I think it's $20, it might be 24. I think Sephora collection, everything is under $50. So everything is pretty affordable when it comes to luxury high-end makeup. I love this stuff. They have a huge range of colors. It sits really nicely on my skin. It doesn't oxidize. It doesn't like build up around my nose or my eyebrows. It's just a really good foundation. It is medium coverage and very lightweight. Really natural. If you've been looking for a new foundation, please, I like can't stress enough, just try this one. I know there are so many good ones out there, really nice luxury ones, but I 
just think that this is good, as good as any of them. But I'll let you know if that changes. I'll let you know if I branch out and try something really nice and I'm like, I take it back. It does get better, but as, as of right now, this has been the best foundation I've tried. With a good foundation, you always need a really good concealer. Um, I've been struggling to find a concealer I really love. I used the Sephora concealer and it was good. I used the Kosas concealer and it was good for a different reason. Um, but I haven't been able to find a concealer that just does everything I want. I want it to sit well. I want it to stay on all day. I want it to um, color correct, brighten, you know, all the things. So I decided to branch out and try a little bit more nicer of a concealer, a more luxury brand. And I got the Dior Backstage flash perfector concealer first off i love this brush it kind of looks like a little nail polish brush almost just applies so nicely i have found that a letting it out with my index finger works the best but overall i'm just like sold i kind of want to try the foundation now that i know i just get the whole spiel about the sephora one um but i'm like if the concealer is this good the foundation's got to be pretty freaking good the next item is it's kind of a setting powder, skin perfector kind of thing. This is from Makeup by Mario, and this is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Protector. As you guys can see, I've really gone through this one, and I definitely need to repurchase this. Just love this stuff. It's really in the name, like Skin Perfector, because I really feel like it just kind of perfects my whole look, keeps it all blended, sets it, and it's just like the perfect cherry on top. Next item is the Sephora Collection Makeup Setting Spray. I know I said I've only repurchased one thing, but I've actually, this is another thing that I have repurchased. This is my second bottle since June, and this is a 16 hour makeup setting spray. I haven't tried to wear it for 16 hours or anything, um, but I can tell you it does make my makeup last longer. And I kind of almost feel like it gives it like a little, it brings like a little life back to my face when I put on some powder or something. It just kind of gives me like that nice, nice hydrated glow back. It's not a hydrating makeup setting spray. It actually says transfer proof, sweat and humidity resistant. Um, so it's not really a matte finish either. It's just kind of like a setting spray. Kind of, It really reminds me Setting sprays remind me of hairspray for your face. I don't know what it is, but that's what I get from it, and that's what I think it does. So, highly recommend. This one is pretty inexpensive as well. I want to say it's in the $12 to $15 range. The last two products of today's video are both lip products. The first one has been a longtime favorite of mine, and by long time, I mean like we're coming up on almost 10 years. I worked at a Sephora right out of high school, and that's where I fell in love with this lipstick shade, and it has been my favorite ever since. I don't even know how many tubes of this I've gone through. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Raquel, and um, I already need to get another one. This is my go-to shade. I get the most questions about this shade. I really love the way it looks on me during the summertime when I have a little bit of a tan, but it's still the color I reach for during the fall and winter for my just go-to lip look. And the last item in today's video is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I have this in the, I think it's like brown sugar, oh, vanilla beige shade. And this is my go-to product when I want a little bit of color, um, but I don't have a full face of makeup on. If I just like, even if I don't have any makeup on, if I just want a little something or just to hydrate my lips, I love this stuff. They also make it in a clear shade if you don't want anything tinted, but it's just very hydrating. Feels very nourishing and luxurious on my lips. And I love it. I love a good Summer Fridays product. Their brand is great. And uh, this is another item I highly recommend. But that is everything for today's video. Again, I will have everything linked in the description below on my Amazon storefront. And if it's not on Amazon, I will have links for you elsewhere. I do get a tiny bit of commission. It's different for each item, um, but I do get commission from that. So I just want to be upfront with you all um, if you do use my link. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me over on Instagram. I'm at truthlycharlie and my husband is at goshdan. And I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye.